Hey, welcome to another episode of Sticky Situation. Hey. Hey. hey! Today we are going to do something that has been in the works for probably eight years. Roundabout. I'm almost as old as, as this old child. As old as Ryan. I mean, we've been planning on doing this, but it's been put on the back burner because I've always found a million other projects to do because I can't focus and I just go all over the place with my projects. Anyway. That's true. What are we doing today for craft day? We're going to cover a wall in some chalkboard paint so we can have a chalkboard thing to draw on. Yay! Yeah! So what we're doing, we're doing this wall here behind us. With the window. Zoom in and show you. Zoom in. <laughs> so it's this wall originally. I had it so that we could do this whole wall and then I was going to do tile work along the side, make a cool tree design, do a whole bunch of other things all along here, and then just do uh, blackboard paint all across the bottom there. So the kids could, instead of writing on it with their crayon, as you can see, because I didn't finish it, they've been covering the wall with, well, crayon. Pretty much everything else in between. <laughs> everything else so, but paint. So I originally we primered the wall paint around it and today we are going to prep and then paint it finally. Yay. So I've got, I originally installed this piece of wood baseboard flat on the ground so that it would catch any chalk dust, be easier to clean up as opposed to having the carpet right next to it. Um, so I did it that way to kind of help with this plan that we've had in process for eight years. So we're gonna put some Plastic down across the bottom and then get our painting ready and get all those kids ready to go. Yay! Yay! Fun! <laughs> Okay, this is the paint that we'll be using. And we'll see how good it goes.
water. Okay, we got the first coat done. Now we're just gonna wait for it to dry, see how it works. If it's uh, painting because we had kids drawing on the walls, of course, and it didn't stick perfect in a lot of spots. We're gonna wait for it to dry, then touch it up in a couple things, and then see how this paint works. If there's still problems with it, I may come back with the spray paint stuff and then try another coat on it that way. I'm hoping that this paint will work good, but we'll let it dry and see what happens and then maybe put on another coat. But we just kinda gotta wait to see what's going on with everything. So, just give us a minute and we'll get right back on that. Yes. All right, we're back after letting the paint dry. Um, so it's been a couple days. I let it dry, the kids tested it with a little bit of chalk to see how it would go. Um, turned out all right uh, there's still a couple spots that need it so I wanted to try something a little bit different today I wanted to see so you know we use the the uh, can of, of paint and this time I wanted to try the can of spray paint for the chalkboard spray um, to see how that works out so we're gonna see which way works best out of those two um, as you can see I did put some little design work some trees up in here on the side but I also realized that I never finished painting this part up here. It just has the white base coat on there, the primer coat. So I bought some other kind of blue paint because I decided I wanted to make kind of a mural in the sense of some blue in there and Anna wants to come back in and paint like a sunset or something cool on that. Maybe some northern lights, who knows. But either way, so it blends in so it looks like, you know, you got trees up the side of the mountain on both sides and then maybe, you know, a, lighter darker blue background in the back and then they can do whatever they want with that one but for now i am going to try some of this to see the difference of it because other paint worked pretty good you can put chalk on it it holds it really nice but it's kind of rough in the sense so it eats up your chalk pretty fast but i'm going to see if this smooths it out a little bit as well too so we're going to try that also another thing that i don't think i mentioned in the last video is this wall behind me here it is made out of a cinder block so it has um, it's all brick it's all stone so nothing's I mean I can I can smash it I can whack it I can beat it all I want because it's that super strong stone that I mean you can't shoot a bullet through it, it takes like a 50 caliber twice in the same spot before it goes through that wall so it's really good so that's one reason why I did this as the chalkboard wall because I don't have to worry about the kids going too deep on it. It's it's just stone. It's not gonna be good. With regular, they do have, like on the inside of this window here, that one is sheetrock because I had to sheetrock to square it up on that, on the stonework. So I did have that. So we'll kind of see whether that gets messed up or, at all or not. But for the most part, it's all brick back there, so it holds it pretty good. I'm not worried about them ruining the wall because of that. And I think that's one of the differences. I don't know if you want to do this on a regular um, kind of sheetrock wall, because when the kids, little kids, they'll push really hard sometimes, and it's going to put dents into your sheetrock wall. So unless you put up some tile backer board or something, I would recommend doing this on a stone wall. Or else if they put a wood, complete wood paneling back there, then on solid wood too. So let's try this. And then I'm also gonna paint the top part up here with that dark blue or kind of gray blue. And we'll go from there.
right, so that does it for the rest of our video on this one. Um, you know, obviously we're gonna show some kids chalking it up, but for me, this is it. Um, so you see, we got the whole wall painted, got everything done up here, the nice fancy trees in the corner. Yes. And the kids can chalk and have fun with it, right? Are you looking forward to chalking it? Yes. I want to, I want to chalk, I want to chalk, I want to Okay, chalk. well you guys will have the rest of your lives to do that. Yay! Every day Yay! Alright, so thanks for coming along on this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned anything. If you have any questions about what happened or what we did, um, leave a comment down below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. And thanks again for coming along, my friends, and we will see you on the next one. and subscribe to Sticky Situations.